Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if we haven't given you a reason to watch this channel so far, today should be just the one you need because today we're going to be breaking down the largest insurance company in the continent of Africa, its history, its current business, and why we thought it was a good deal to add 5,000 Rand of its shares to our own personal investment portfolio that we buy at the end of the episode. So sit back, stay tuned. And let's get started. Now, in case you didn't know from the title, today we're going to be taking a closer look at Sunlum Insurance, the largest insurance company in the continent of Africa, how its share price has been performing, what its dividend payments are like, and why we like it to the point that at the end of the video, we will be buying 5,000 Rand of their shares live and in real time here on the channel. So as always, let's start at the beginning. I always like to know a bit about the history of the company as well as whether it's a good investment. In the case of Sunlum, their story goes back 104 years to March 1918 when a company was registered called Seit Afrikaanse Nationaal Trust in Assurantie Maatschappij. <laughs> I hope I said that right, but it's Suntum for short. You will know that company as it still exists today. They then decided to convert the life assurance department into a separate company in June that year, and the Seit Afrikaanse Nationaal Levens Assurantie Maatschappij <laughs> was born as Sunlum. Over the years, Sunlum moved from just a life insurance company to a diverse range of insurance, investment, and financial services. It listed on the JSC in 1998 and is now listed on the JSC, Namibian Stock Exchange, and A2X Exchange. It's now also operating in 33 African countries as well as overseas in India, Malaysia, the UK, Ireland, the USA, Australia, and the Philippines. So needless to say, this is a big company. And it's what you would call a blue chip stock, which typically means a big and stable company with often solid gains and low volatility. So why is it that we are looking at this for our portfolio? What is it that makes this particular company special at this particular point in time that we are looking at it? All right. First of all, let's take a look at its five year graph. What's very clear to me is the big dip it had in January 2020. Very simply put, this is a life insurance company and the threat of a deadly pandemic would mean an increase in claims so the share price goes down. And rightly so, there will be and there was an increase in claims. The share price dropped 41% at its lowest. Then in August 2020, vaccine trials started and as the development and rollout program progressed, so did its share price. Let's cut forward now to present day, where the share price has risen 43% from its lowest point. But I want to show you something. Let's zoom out to their max graph. Now this, this is the kind of thing I like to see, that steady and solid growth line all the way from 2001. And as you can see, it still hasn't reached its pre-COVID share price levels. So why is that important? Let's switch over to an article by MoneyWeb where they have broken down Sunlum's latest financial results. Now, I'll link the article in the description, but the headline says the most important part. In their latest financial reporting, they have shown that they are back to pre-COVID level profits. It says here, South Africa's Sunlum said on Thursday its operating profit was back at around 2019 levels. It had recovered to pre-pandemic performance on other metrics and annual profits rose 27%, pushing its shares 6.5% higher in early trade. So what that means to me is that there is a company who reached a share price of 82 Rand on a certain level of profits. Now, two years later, that same company is at that same level of profits, but trading at a price of 67 Rand. To me, very simply, that sounds like a discount. But couple that in with the long-term trading growth of the company for 20 years, and even if it is or isn't, it has a track record of good growth regardless. But hopefully the discount might compound that growth. That is the theory anyway, but let's take a look at another very important aspect of this company and what we look for for our portfolio, the dividend income. 
So we bought this share a couple of days ago, <laughs> spoiler alert, I know, and we bought for a price of 63 Rand 79 cents. Now Sunlam has already announced their dividend for the year of 3 Rand 34 per share. Keep in mind the cutoff of 5th of April to buy shares in order to receive this dividend. But that is a dividend income of 5.24% per year. Now for reference, in 2019, before COVID, the dividend was 3 Rand 12 on a share price of 79 Rand 30, which is only 3.93% dividend income. So simply put, at the moment you're getting Sunlum shares with the same financial profits as 2019, but can be bought with a share price that's 23% cheaper than 2019, and a dividend income that is 7% higher than 2019. So a company that is performing the same as two years ago, but for a cheaper price and a higher income. For me, it sounds like a nice entry point and the financial indicators suggest that the share price has room to go up and dividends should also increase with next year and in the years to come. I wouldn't say this is a risky share because by nature it is not, but keep in mind that anything can happen with COVID and new variants or a resurgence in cases could affect their profitability. Okay, so we're going to do it the casual cash way and show you buying these shares in real time. So we're going to invest now, then equities, type in Sunlum, and there you go. We're going to be buying at 5,000 Rand, click buy at open because it's after hours, and there you go, done. Now, <laughs> it is a few days later, and I can show you that since buying the sh buying. The share price has gone up by 5.93% for a gain of 294 Rand so far. So with a 5,000 Rand investment, we will be receiving a dividend income this year of 260 Rand and 17 cents and growth of 294 Rand so far. To me, it's a good example of a stock that could give good capital growth and dividend income growth, hopefully for many years to come. But that's it for today's episode, guys, and I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you can, if you enjoyed the video, and if you're new to the channel, you're welcome to subscribe. As always, we keep you up to date on all our portfolio buys and sells and profits and losses. But if this is something you're considering for your portfolio, make sure you look through all of their info yourself, read through their latest financials and reports, and whether it is the right option for your own portfolio. But until then, I'll see you guys next time on Casual Cash. Cheers.